Malnutrition in America, not exactly a term that one might expect to hear, let alone believe to be a serious concern for millions of people in our country. Believe it or not, the U.S. city of Los Angeles, regarding its wealthy citizens, is currently the major hunger capital of the United States. Not only more and more people are struggling to receive food and put food on their tables, but also more and more people are becoming dangerously malnourished. According to federal sources, nearly 600,000 people in the United States, who are mainly young children and elderly homeless people, cannot afford to eat and therefore starve and are more vulnerable to diseases. This is an embarrassment to the U.S. and the Western world for something, like this, for something like this to be occurring in the greatest nation on earth. Malnutrition in America has implications that go much farther than hunger pains of the malnourished person. Not only will malnourished children be more inclined to possibly pre prevented illnesses, they will also not be able to grow to their full physical capacity, and therefore will not likely function as well on a daily basis. For example, daily processes such as concentrating or the ability to initiate deep thought processes and have deep conversations will be more, much more challenging to do without the proper vitamins and minerals. Also, the people on the streets who are malnourished are more vulnerable to infections because their bodies are unable to attain what they need to, to increase their, their immune system and to keep a healthy life. So what can we do to improve this drastic problem our nation is facing? Who is responsible for, for clearing up the homeless and feeding our fellow members in need? Because they cannot feed themselves, it is more morally permissible for us to allow this catastrophe and watch them suffer. If we're willing to pay nearly $150 billion each year for expensive medical treatments, then we should be willing to fund programs that will provide people with proper nutrition that we can prevent hunger as well as chronic illnesses from developing in over 600,000 American citizens due to malnutrition. malnutrition. I believe that we need to take immediate action on this issue. After all, taxpayers will ultimately end up paying for these disadvantaged people as they become sick and need medical attention. Why not just prevent the issue from reaching this point and instead investing money to better fix the problem of malnutrition on the streets of America? Thank you.